Did Claudia say anything at all? She said she'd shoot your wife if any of us moved. And then she dragged her out the door. I'm so they sorry. They couldn't get away on foot. Carly's in labor. They, they had to take a car. Yeah, or Claudia could have carjacked somebody. Have there been any cars out there in the last few minutes? Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Jackson. Uh, this is Mr. Swenson. I just pulled this car around from the driveway a few minutes ago, and some, one of the guys might have moved it. Did you leave the keys in the car? Uh, yeah, I left it running. Oh, okay, listen, a pregnant woman was kidnapped in that car, so we need to know the make, the model, the license plate, anything else you can give us to help track that car down. Oh, man, that was a rental. I, I just picked it up this afternoon. Uh, the rental agreement's still in the glove box. It's either dark blue or black. I'm pretty sure on dark blue, and it was a four-door. Uh, I'm really sorry, you guys. I can't even tell you what kind of car it was. You got away, Claudia, and you bought yourself some time, so use it to think. Just because Sonny has enough evidence doesn't mean the police will have enough evidence against you. Just shut up. What are you, my lawyer? Oh, come on, don't be stupid. Just think. All right, Sonny and Jason can't kill you, not after Sonny just announced to half of poor Charles what you did. Look, they're, they're all witnesses. They'll be able to testify against Sonny if anything happens to you. He just guaranteed your survival. Jason isn't going to stop till there's a bullet in my head and you know it. No, that's not true. Jason can't do anything because Sonny, he threatened you publicly, okay? I mean, it's just, it's this whole taking me hostage thing that's messing everything up. Just take me to a hospital so I can deliver my baby safely. It could be your only chance to save your own life. Right. Right. And she's got a hostage, a very pregnant hostage who happens to be my niece. Well, you know what to do. Okay, listen, she might call for favors. Well, don't leave me hanging. I want to hear back from you. Good. Can we just get out of here? All of this drama is giving me a migraine. No, no, we're not going to leave yet. Things are still unfolding. Okay, well, you watch it unfold, and I'm going to leave. I would be happy to escort you downstairs. It's obviously a mistake for me to attend the gangster's party. Dominic thinks we need to stay here. I think we should go down to the lobby to see if Mr. C needs any help. Agreed. Oh, be positive, man. Mrs. C... Mrs. J, she's gonna be okay. She's a tough lady. Look, I know she is, all right? I just can't believe Claudia went off the deep end like that. She's out of her freaking mind. I'm gonna take Christina home. You wanna come with? Um, no, I'm gonna stay here. I've got a few things to take care of. Okay. All right. Everybody, uh, sorry to interrupt. Can I just have everyone's attention, please, for a minute? Uh, look, come on, we all gotta stay put. Okay, I know this has been an upsetting night, but the police are on their way and they want to take statements from everybody, so I suggest we all just grab a seat, think about what it is we saw tonight, and don't exchange stories. Well, who died and made you chief of police, kid? Anyone want to tell me how this cocktail party turned into another hostage crisis? I'll tell you what happened. Sonny decided to use tonight's birthday party to let everybody know that Claudia was responsible for getting Michael shot. She panicked. She took my wife hostage. She went into premature labor because of that. She got her in the elevator, across the lobby, and apparently Valet told us that she stole a, a, a four-door sedan, dark color. We don't know the make or model. All right, we'll get an APB out on the car right away. Listen, I want roadblocks on all major roads heading out of town, all right? The storm's hitting pretty hard right now. There'll be some road closures. I don't care Too about windy. any of that stuff, Mac. My wife is in labor. We have to find her now. It's not a hopeless situation yet. I know you don't want my baby to die. What the hell are you doing? You talk of your game, you know that. You almost convinced me. Come on, Carly, we both know I'm dead, won't we? shot I've got is getting away. So that makes you my hostage, at least for now, until I get somewhere safe. Oh, come on, you're not gonna escape. Get real, Claudia. I didn't ask for this. Oh. I didn't ask for any of this. All I wanted to do was be a good wife to Sonny. And I thought that that was finally, finally gonna happen after all of the pain. And all of the loss that 
I lost my baby. Do you remember that, Carly? Yes, In case you forgot. I know. I know you did. And I know it was such a terrible thing for you. I know you don't want to be responsible for another baby's death. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Jason ruined everything. It's so funny, too, by believing him. Drink your coffee, keep an eye on Lulu until the cops get here, all right? Sure, you just make sure you don't get shot by Claudia or the cops. Right. Okay, baby. Drink your coffee. Never imagined what you and Jason found in Ian's duffel bag would do to something like this. So Carly and the baby are okay. There was no way we could predict what Sonny would do or that Claudia would fly off the handle like that. By the way, what was in Ian's duffel bag? I probably shouldn't go into details. Let's just say it was enough that gave Jason what he needed. First, Carly's son shot, now she's taken hostage. What's next? I just hate that we had anything to do with it. All right, honey, you know the police are going to ask some questions to the people who witnessed what went on. Are you going to be up to this? Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll tell them everything. I mean, except for causing Claudia's accident. Mom, do you think what I did might have pushed Claudia no. to... No. No. It did not. Nothing you did caused this. Claudia was unstable before. She's unstable now. Yeah, but I killed her baby. Don't you think that played a part in making her lose her mind? Look, if I knew the truth about what Claudia did, I should have just went straight to my dad and told him, but I waited too long. Now my mom's paying the price. But look, you gotta take it easy on yourself. Okay, this is not your fault. Wait, you came to the house before? This is... Yeah. Look, I had no idea. It was about all this. I'm sorry. Johnny, there is no way that you should blame yourself for any of this. Right? This is not your fault. Mr. Pirelli, can I speak to you for a moment? Yeah. I'll be right back, okay? Your mom is one of the strongest ladies I know. And she's been through a hell of a lot worse, and I want you to keep remembering that, okay? Keep your chin up, all right? Come on. Spinelli told me he was working on some huge investigation with Sam and Jason. I just had no idea it involved Claudia. I guess they found what they were looking for. I mean, Sonny didn't seem to have any doubt that she was the one who arranged the shooting. I just can't believe she kept it a secret so long. She's a card-carrying whack job. Well, whatever evidence they found must have been pretty convincing. You know, you were about one sentence away from Sonny finding out that you're my son, okay? Uh, if he hadn't cut Claudia off when he did, it just it got me thinking, honey, maybe maybe it's time to come clean about at least one thing here. What, what are we talking about here? Let's not get any crazy ideas, okay? Look, this room needed a cop tonight, and you stepped up and you acted like one. Maybe it's time for you to take the next step. To take up, listen to me, take out your badge and tell everybody what you're doing here, okay? And end this whole undercover thing before anyone else really gets hurt. I need everyone's attention, please. I'm Detective Williams. Claudia Corinthos has escaped the building with a hostage. I'm gonna need all your help to track her down. 